Hi, welcome to Graphic Design 101 on Jim's Orbit. Today we'll make a beautiful minimal looking line art design in Adobe Illustrator. And all the tools that I'm going to make use of, I've covered them in the section 1 of the series. And so I recommend you to check them out if you need a refresher. And now let's begin. So I'll create a canvas of 1000 by 1200 pixels and orient it vertically. And then I'll click on create. Now to create a line art piece, you should definitely spend some time thinking about what is it that you want to make. And for that, it is always advisable to create a mood board like I have created here. Just surf the net and collect all sorts of images that you think capture the same emotion or art style that you want. For my design, I'm thinking of drawing a simple portrait of a female and maybe add some flowers on her head. Now pick one image that you want to use as your inspiration and drop it on your artboard. You can then place it wherever you want and then turn down the opacity and lock the layer. If you want more pictures, you can just import them and keep them on any side of your artboard. Now on the layer 2, you can begin creating your line art with the help of the reference image. I'm making use of the pen tool and just going over the lines and curves. You can keep correcting your curves as you go or in the end as well. I'm going for more fluid lines as compared to straight geometric lines and that's just a style preference. For this particular style, I'm trying to keep the curves connected so that they look like they've been drawn using just one line so there will be very few open ends if any. You can keep toggling the visibility on and off for your layer 1 just to see how your design is looking. Remember to keep saving your work every now and then so that you don't accidentally lose it. I decided to draw some roses in her hair, so I've imported another picture underneath the line art layer. Don't be shy to keep on improvising and visiting the mood board again and again. It's all a part of creating the best design that you can. Now using the scissor tool, I'm just clipping off the extra ends on some of these lines. Now when you're satisfied with your line art, you can go ahead to the next step 
if you want to add a stylized edge to your artwork and for that we're going to make use of the width tool this will help you achieve more of a brush stroke effect since you can make the curves thinner or thicker wherever you want I'm just eyeballing here and doing what feels and looks nice to me When you're satisfied with how it looks, you can save your work again and export it to a PNG format. Here is how my design looks. Which brings us to the end of this video. Hope to see you in our next videos. Thanks for watching.